Former Republican presidential candidate and Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. He's out with a new plan to attempt to combat poverty. Senator Paul, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So I want to talk about your legislation, but first a couple political questions. I want to talk about the presidential race. The big question, of course, is whether the person who gets the most delegates should be the nominee, even if he does not get that 1,237 delegate majority needed according to the rules. CNN's Manu Raju asked House Speaker Paul Ryan about this. Take a listen. I think the rules are the rules, and people know the rules going into it. We are going to follow the book by the rules, and that is exactly how this convention is going to be run. It's very important that it's done exactly that way. And all the candidates coming into this convention and coming into this campaign knew the rules ahead of time. Where do you come down on this issue? Rudy Giuliani told me yesterday that he thinks if Trump gets close enough, as long as he has the most, he should get the nomination. What do you think? Uh, kind of reminds me of when I play golf. I usually like to say, well, we'll decide what the bet is after we see what the scores are. Because really, when you say, well, we're going to adhere to the rules, you realize the rules haven't been written yet. So what's extraordinary, and it is extraordinary, that people by the millions will have voted in a primary and that 110 people will decide how we're going to make the rules. So the rule, you can't say we're going to obey the rules. The rules have yet to be written. The convention will abide by rules that are written in the first day or two by 110 people. So you could write that a plurality wins, you could write that a majority wins, or you could do what they did to my dad. To my dad, they said you had to be, you had to win eight states to be nominated or your votes don't count. But the interesting thing now is the establishment saying, oh, no, no, we really counted Ron Paul's votes, even though you can watch the proceedings when the podium said, you know, the Iowa would say 28 votes for Ron Paul and the podium would say 28 votes for Mitt Romney. So it is extraordinary that the rules are written after you've already had the election and it will all come down to what the rules are. So, yeah, it's, it is pretty extraordinary. I don't know exactly what the outcome will be, but I guarantee it will be very exciting to see what happens on that rules committee. You and the other candidates who have dropped out have almost 200 delegates. One of those delegates is yours. It's a Rand Paul delegate. Who should that delegate support in Cleveland? What will you tell him or her to do? You know, I'm going to leave that open to the delegates, and I do think it will be quite a different result if you go to a second and third ballot. I mean, Cruz looks very strong in that delegate count. So I think it'll be interesting to see what happens, but I'm not really trying to sway it one way or the other because, you know, like the thing that I've been promoting this week, the economic freedom zones, I want to still have my voice to talk about what I want to talk about, and I, I'm not really that excited about being somebody else's surrogate. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about your anti-poverty legislation. It would significantly reduce taxes in certain impoverished areas. The club, the club for Growth says that the plan would incentivize bad management and put responsible communities at a disadvantage. What yeah, do you think I, of that? You know, I disagree because I think some people live in poverty not because their local city government's bad. I think it's complicated, the root causes of poverty, but for generations we've had poverty in eastern Kentucky, and I don't think it's bad local government that causes the poverty. But what I do say is that the way you'd remove poverty is by leaving more money in the community. So my bill would actually leave $500 million in eastern Kentucky. I wouldn't take it from somewhere else. I wouldn't bring it to them in the form of check. I just would not tax them. But I also would leave over $100 million in Flint, Michigan. They've got this terrible water pro problem, and there isn't any money in Washington to send them, and it's not going to happen. That's why I keep saying to Democrats, think about something that's outside the box that we haven't tried before, and that's a significant reduction in taxes. My program would leave $3 billion in the south side of Chicago. I've been there. They need it. My program would leave money in Ferguson, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh. I think that we need to think about a different way to approach poverty because what we've tried hasn't worked. So what do you hope, let's say, uh, of all the places you just mentioned, let's say eastern Kentucky, what do you hope the people of Kentucky, of eastern Kentucky, do with that $500 million? Well, I hope they uh, spend it on things that they choose to spend it on. So if they're consumers, they'll go to their favorite restaurant, their favorite grocery store. But if I own the grocery store, my hope is if I have more people shopping there, that I'll be able to hire more employees. So I don't, it, it's not so important that, that I decide what they do with it. Really what's most important is that I don't want to decide what to do with it. I want to give it back directly to the people. So the mistake of most government grants is we write a million dollar check and they show up in Pikeville and they give it to a government employee. 
that doesn't work because nobody knows who will be good in business. If you give it back in the form of a tax reduction, the consumers have already voted for the business that's going to be best at distributing products. And so you're leaving money in the hands of those who have already been voted upon by their community as being successful. All right, Senator Rand Paul, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good luck with your legislation, sir. Thank you.